The first thing I did when I first got out of prison was go with my mother to the end of the driveway of the prison and wait for my then girlfriend to show up because despite having known each other for years and developed this incredible relationship, we had never met in person. Because when she got the call that I was gonna be released in 30 minutes, she was 45 minutes away. So she drove like a crazy person to come up and meet me for the very first time. And as you can imagine, after 19 years of abstinence and building this incredible emotional connection but not having a physical component, there were some things we felt we needed to go do. And after 19 years of dreaming of intimacy and all the things that I couldn't do and couldn't have and couldn't share with another person, it was an incredible and overwhelming experience. And how do you follow that up? But going to Walmart or going to Costco or going to get all the things you need for life because I had absolutely nothing but the clothes on my back and the little car with the money from my prison account. And because my situation was unique, because I had a conditional pardon, no one knew until that day that I was getting out of prison. So there'd been no preparation and no planning. And let me tell you, the process of trying to put a life together after so many years inside to figure out what I wanted and what I needed and what I had to do was overwhelming, and I didn't sleep for three days. In a weird way, though, those first few days were easier. They weren't comfortable, they were incredibly overwhelming, but there was structure. There was one thing after another that I had to do and I had to accomplish. And after that, I had to stop and figure out, who do I want to be in the world? I hadn't been in the world since just after my 18th birthday. And I've always been the kind of person who does really well in a storm, in the middle of being busy and crazy and overwhelmed, but when things calm down, that's when I get uncomfortable because that's when I don't have anything to distract me from the big questions and the big fears.